was surprised at how busy Doc Harper's was. Good morning. Oh, hi. hi. Hey, how's hey. it going? We're just sitting here, sitting here knitting. Sitting and knitting. And I have chatting. a split stitch, so I'm like, oh, oh dang. Gotta fix dang. that. We were just, we had a nice little get together at Doc Harper's last night with, with all of our yarn bar people. If, it was fun. Yeah. If you haven't been to Doc Harper's, it's totally, it's a great little spot. Um, Martinis. Martini bar. They do have and cocktails, little apps. So we had a few appetizers mm -hmm. and, uh, we laughed so hard. It was It fun. was, yeah, it was, it was really, it was yeah. really a I fun, that. fun one. Can't fun, believe fun. how, um, well, Time flew. Connie's one of the funniest people around, is what we're finding <laughs> out. So you guys might want to show up on her day. What's her day? Wednesdays. Wednesday. So yeah. I would show up on Wednesday. Well, bring her a double dirty martini. Is that what it was? Extra, oh, yeah. Extra, extra dirty, dirty martini. <laughs> and she had many favorites on the menu. And I'm like, she's kind she, of... She's like, she. I'm a butte girl. We know things. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, Doc Harper's is a, I had, I mean, it's been around, it's been around for a bit mm -hmm. and I've never been there, um, which is crazy, but, and Carrie had gone, I mean, Carrie, when she was home, she went, a it's a times. great summertime spot cause they have yeah. like a bump out patio mm -hmm. at, in the summertime. And but Carrie went on a Monday night and she's like, I mean, sort shortly after new year's, she said, um, nobody was there anyway. So I was kind of expecting Monday night, Jan we're still in January, that would be pretty quiet but yeah monday night, night on a cold busy. night yeah dark yeah yeah, yeah. anyway yeah so, but yeah it was fun so i totally would uh recommend you to uh yeah have a martini Give night with the girls try. it was pretty fun yeah so we were thinking it would take us a good long time to get through that menu if we met like once oh a month. yeah they had like <laughs> multiple pages of drinks i know uh, and then they do Ashley's season, was seasonal like a smoky things. one i got a smoked old-fashioned it that? came with a presentation. That yeah. was fun, yeah. Renetta says that um, Connie's drink, I think, is called, um, she has a friend who calls it the Streetwalker Derby. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell her that. That's hilarious. Well, she had a whole list of drinks that she wanted to try. I know. Yeah, it was so, good. We have to go back. It was very good. good, good um, yep, so, definitely. first thing we need to, like, just oh. housekeeping stuff. We've hmm. got, always have our giveaway. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, what do we do with it? I know. I don't, I don't know. Well, is it still on the table? It's a line of magazine, and Nicole Ivy, you're getting you're gonna it. You're going to win I don't it. know what happened yes. to it. I think it, it might be color? on the desk. What Maybe. What color is it? It is from last winter. It's it's a night. Nice, every yeah, issue is they're great. They're really nice. I think yeah. she'll like it, and, and she's so, kind of an adventurous knitter, I mm -hmm, think. She'll. Yeah. They're just there nice to it is. There it is. Thanks, <laughs> Becky. So, yay, Nicole. Thank you. Woo! Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for so commenting. So, if you want to win a prize mm -hmm. with us, just uh, be sure to subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel. Make a comment on our most recent video. And so, that's how we're going to find you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, th so that's that one. And then, what are you wearing? Well, I kind of doubled up the old what am I You're wearing like black today. black on black. I know. Mm -hmm. I remember Ashley said one time it looked really good when I just was wearing black, I guess, black. on camera. Anyway, yeah. so What's I the... did finish my Sophie scarf. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so three strands is what mm -hmm. I put together. A sparkle, a mohair, and then a, a nice, thin, shiny... The viscosity. Um, yeah, yeah, which is, it's a fingering weight. So yeah. it, mm -hmm. it seemed like it was slow to go, but quick to finish. Mm -hmm. and, I know, because you're yeah, decreasing. I know. And then um, I'm wearing, a, it's called Juniper. It's a vest by Coco Knits, and it's great for boucle yarns. Mm. So mm -hmm. what about Like you? this? Yes. <laughs> like this. And like this? Yeah, Pretty. and this. Mm -hmm. Like two. And the so. fur. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm wearing Soundtrack by Elizabeth Smith, and I used Ilamani Emily. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love it. I would say that Elizabeth Smith is probably one of our more favorite designers. I think you'll see a lot of things that well, we Well, she knit. did the Ramona sweater, <laughs> yep. Which... so cardigan and pullover, and that one is a really good pattern. I think many shops do it as like a first sweater class. Yeah, yeah, it's a good so, one. Yeah. Which yeah. We remember did. when we picked your colors for the soundtrack? It was on one of our live videos. Oh, yeah, what? it oh, was I that member. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the other at yeah. the, the other, other store. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the deal? Can 
can everyone wear black and look good or can not it some people can't wear black Is i don't true? know Do you, i don't know if people so becky's people ashley's here black. and so is becky becky do you ever wear black i know you're wearing you a black t-shirt dark, yeah. but not as a main color not too often color except a dress <laughs> maybe yeah yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. yeah but you mm-hmm. that dark yeah yeah i would wear black every single day if i could mm-hmm. and i guess i can nobody's right that's there right. Yep. I yeah. I don't mind black, but I do. after a while I feel like I should be working like at an Aveda salon. Or something. <laughs> That's the thing. It's the uniform. Some people. I mean, I get that it is an easy thing to throw. It on. is. It like, is. You, it's a no brainer. You don't have to think about it. It goes. It goes good mm-hmm. with black hair. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, which I don't have, but okay. but look, hey, I got some different glasses on, everybody. <laughs> someone <laughs> called yesterday just to ask. Oh you yeah, about the yeah, glasses. we had someone call about my glasses. Now wait, are those different frames? Those no, they're the ones? same frame I've always had. Same thing, just different. Oh, I guess I never really noticed that bright blue. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Okay. Fun. Fun. Well. <clears throat> Okay. If you've been watching us since September, and most of you have, mm-hmm. and you know we've been doing our awards, <clears throat> mm-hmm. this last weekend was the deadline for the Toasties. <laughs> Which is what? Tell people who might not know. Okay, okay, well, the Toasties are, it's sort of a competition, but in a friendly way. Friendly. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a People's Choice awards we're going to have a voting system people knit all the you know their sweaters we had like 70 registrants Mm -hmm. and we had 38 submissions submissions and so we create a voting platform and we're going to be sending that out to you as soon as this show is over it will be live and so you'll get to vote for your favorite toasty now they're really there's 11 categories so it seems like a lot it's more than we've had in our other ones but there's just so many different mm-hmm. kinds of sweaters so mm-hmm. there's we we have one that's a first sweater we have steeped we have lace we have pullover mm-hmm. cardigan color work men's we had quite we added yeah we it, had to add yeah. the men's category because we and got three submissions now we did men's. have crochet i just want everyone to know <laughs> that if they thought that we were excluding crocheters we totally were not we've had crochet in all of our other mm-hmm. um awards we just didn't get any crochet sweaters in so mm-hmm. i just don't want anybody to think we were excluding anybody Come on, crocheters. They, yeah, we want to see some sweaters <laughs> crocheters so uh, so maybe they just like to just stay under the radar like may- an, maybe uh, i mean we know there's crocheters who come in our shop and are, are active is that sweater a common project or do they like to be well project? that well, not probably... even for all of our other to like the other toasties of the people's choice awards we've had this year there really hasn't been a lot of crochet entries so my theory maybe is that they're just shy <laughs> maybe, maybe, but we really would like to see more. And, well, Jennifer had one, but she didn't quite get to the finish line. So, And we don't make any judgments on any of the other people that, the other people, that didn't quite make the deadline. It's okay. Oh, yeah, totally okay. Just keep, keep knitting. On, we, I know. It's okay. Some people had baby some people had you uh, know well, lots of other issues somebody so. sent us a gorgeous picture of one that's oh, on her needles I and know. she's like she's like well i did take a break and do a lot of knitting for christmas presents oh. and so yeah i mean yeah i just and keep on keep on keeping on yeah, and just, like um tish has been in several times running out of yarn she's like this is so good. I've pulled out this sweater. I need to finish it. I'm going to keep going. But she like she has a little bit of a sleeve left. So anyway, maybe we should do an unfinished category. Yeah. Well, I thought about that, but we, mm-hmm. it's too, too late. late now. Too late. But, but um, yeah. So, so they just announced like uh, the Oscars nominations today. Well, it's yeah. like yeah, well, right. That's so kind that's of what got what us going. It last prompted the year. whole thing, like awards season. Right. So yeah, we're I know. almost full circle. <laughs> yeah, we kind of are. I mean, I'm already thinking about the second edition of the Soxy Award. I know, it's going to be fun. Um, so anyway, um, as okay. soon as this is over, yeah. you'll get an email with the links mm-hmm. uh, that goes right to the polling. And um, hopefully, you know, you've done it enough, you know mm-hmm. what to do. Right. So, and right. so then next Tuesday, we will yeah, we'll actually announce the winners. The winners. 
And the thing I really do love about this has been just seeing different projects. I know. Ideas. And so. just how people interpret the mm -hmm. same project. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, yeah. kind of fun. On the other <laughs> hand, it's kind of like, you know, we get people coming in showing us their sweaters and wearing and we take pictures. And then we're kind of like hoarding them because we have the voting thing. Right. And so... Anyway, As, I think afterwards we'll like bombard our, our socials. With well, we will have the a picture. We'll have an actual video on YouTube that's mm -hmm. going to have. It's just a movie that just mm -hmm. will cycle through. You know, but so we want to anyway. Well, it's, it's good. To the hat see video has been really handy because we've had people come in and want to see. I need a hat, and you know, and I'm like, well, let me just we'll show this to you, and they get kind of you know they can find a good inspiration. For, yeah. for that. So Lots I think those will be good to fun. do. Fun, fun, fun. Um, so, you know, well, we can't stop having fun. So we already announced our snuggle along, mm -hmm. which is basically knit something cozy and soft and cushy, a pillow. This is a weird one, but it's a cool one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically knitting a pillow during the month of February, mm -hmm. that's our knit along. So, and we still, Quite a few signed up. We're, mm -hmm. We want more. You've got till February 1 mm -hmm. to get signed up. So snuggle along. You get a 15% discount on yarn for your crocheted or knit pillow or multiple pillows. Um, we've been giving you ideas for the past two weeks. We have one more round of ideas to feed you. And there are, I mean, as you're looking, like Ravelry has them. But then I look through books and magazines too. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, great pillows. Yeah, a, a lot of great pillows. So anyway. Yay. And I think personally, there's never enough pillows. No, but... never enough. I'm sure some husbands don't feel that way, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got to unload at least 10 off your bed before you can go to bed. So, um, so, but we decided to do some oh. fun stuff, uh, fun kickoff. So what is that? February 3rd? Right. The first, the first Friday, um, we are going to have a private event and that for people who are participating in the snuggle along yep. and that's a pj party that's right <laughs> so, PJs? so we kind of decided to make it private because it's actually the art walk too mm -hmm. we're gonna lock our door right because we just don't want up. any you know yeah you, i don't know what pajamas not you're PJ gonna party. wear <laughs> yeah. uh, we're, not, we're not greeting people in our pjs um but let's make it a pj and potluck okay okay all right she just made that one up on the spot guys the, so yeah fun yeah bring whatever you want okay so um let's talk about this is the first <laughs> one so is this not the coolest that is <laughs> so our friend amy who is she is actually crocheting a few blankets right now a beautiful temperature blanket and a house becky project down and oh catch now throw it back <laughs> so that's a fun so she signed up for <laughs> snuggle along and then a few days later she came in with this pillow i know a, what is it a celtic knot a celtic pillow? knot mm -hmm. and she and really i looked at the pattern and it doesn't seem like much when you're making it this is crocheted but the magic happens at the very <laughs> end well you have to it's a big long tube make this big tube and then you have to figure out how to stuff it, and then you have to, t um, you know, tie it Knot together. It so, so anyway, that is a great idea. I that what? sort of looks like a puzzle. I don't know how she did that. I know I can't ever do those puzzles. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. And then she described the stuffing process. She said I might have gotten a little overstuffed, but she used a, I think, a wrapping paper tube that you you know you put into fluff the up actual your like fabric, flat tube. fabric and then stuff it mm -hmm. in that anyway I bet and then that you was take kind of out out mm -hmm. yeah, yeah fun so okay but that's i cute. think it's a pretty cool idea and that'd be really pretty in a solid too mm -hmm. um yeah it's kind of a kind of modern it's kind of fun very fun all right oh, what's next well one, oh, you're working okay. on so this i'm is a totally different does anyone kind of... use a hot water bottle i never have but I must secretly have always wanted to because this spoke to me and I found this is a German made hot water bottle. And then, um, and you're not, anyway, the thing is like, I sometimes go to bed with really cold feet and that's it. I'm hot everywhere else, but feet, I just have bad circulation, I think. So in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna do a hot water bottle thing. So I'm knitting a cozy to go on my hot water bottle. Also, I think it could be kind of a nice gift for, um, like a, just a nice gift. So anyway, 
it's gonna it's gonna cover we it up ha- and then you do I, like a turtleneck at the top. Little. <laughs> had a hot water bottle when I was little I think I but honestly I don't think I've ever used one I know I don't I don't know I mean I might think it's I might not like it but we'll see anyway only because it might be cold in the morning when you wake up but see, my feet eventually warm up. And if I go to bed with socks on, then I wake up and my I'm like boiling. My feet are, it's, anyway. Well, so I that, guess the cover's for that. So like if like it does get sleep, cold, it's, it's not going to feel cold to you. Well, I think that's a fun idea. Um, we just finished a little shop project. And this seriously has been oh, a so shop cute. project because when people <laughs> are here to do, um, you know, our Friday social afternoon. knitting... I forgot they, my I project. Forgot my knitting. So we got to start another one because I know. everybody's worked on this. Cute. Isn't that sweet? So it's a little lovey blanket. Only took uh, two skeins of our baby Yeti. That's nice. Um, it feels this is good. a 75% alpa- baby alpaca and 25%. Oh, hang on. Is 85, right? 15. It's 85, 15. Sorry. 85, 85 alpaca. alpaca, 15 wool. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. And then we trimmed it with our uh, Ikigai mm-hmm. Chibi Paka. And I just want everyone to know that I crocheted the edge. Oh, good, good job. I did it mm-hmm. myself. Yay, you. I didn't farm it out. You know what? Anyone. This would also be, I think, a really nice pillow. And somehow oh, yeah. you could do two squares, and then I bet you could do a fun um, trim around the edge. I wonder if you could do like a a three needle bind off situation with a crochet thingy. I don't know. I think two. I think I like this edging. I think it's subtle, but I really like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it'd be fun to figure out how you could do the edging. I bet couldn't you just oh. fold it and like stitch it or whatever, and then. You could do that. And then do the edging yeah. on the on the I edge. I think so. <laughs> do the edging on the edge. Do, that's where that work? Or that's where I put it. <laughs> okay. Just do the edging on the edge. Anyway, it feels good. Yeah. Nice size for a baby um, oh, yeah. stroller, car seat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. I think I'll take it home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, sorry. Your turn. Okay. Pair of big pillows. <laughs> So Church Mouse poking around has uh, quite a few, not quite a few, they have a few, maybe six, um, free <laughs> pillow patterns. So this one is cute using um, Big Wool from Rowan. So that, like, okay, color blocked. Uh huh. And then you have enough to do this marled one too, I think, if I read the pattern correctly. Yeah, the marled one's pretty mm-hmm. cute. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, I think, well, yeah, one of our house pillows is made with big wool. So Ashley pulled, I'm messing, I don't like to show all the labels. So, okay. Do, do, how's that? Are we good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty. Can you envision that pillow? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can, since it's pretty much Mm -hmm. right here. All right, sweet. (laughs) So that is a great idea. Um, The hot water bottle is not free, just FYI. But we have a copy of that pattern, actually. Okay. What else from Church Mouse? Um, you this... are working on. You okay. Started. Yeah, and I decided oh, that I this one spoke to me. This one is graphic striped pillow. You're actually making it? Yeah, I am. I started it, and... Where is it? It's right, right there. I'll pull it up in a sec. There you go. Where, Where is, it? is it? I haven't so seen I'm it. Using, um, I'm using these two colors. Oh, so, okay. Well, you want Ultra to Alpaca use... Chunky and then Osprey. And I'm why did you combining. pick that color? This one's called Carrie's Yellow. And so I have a girl named Carrie in my That's life. Nobody, and nobody's made know. any colors called like Linda's. Linda or Linda's Alice. Gray. Yeah. There was a Jasper color. There is Jasper. Oh, well, I'm actually Jasper's... working with Jasper color yeah, right in here with and my little yeah, project. Yeah, Jasper's kind of a popular yarn color, I think. Well, because it's a stone. Okay, so yeah. here's the deal on this. Super simple knitting. Um, just in the round, fold it up, and then decide it. You're knitting on the it pattern. this way, though? I don't know. I decide to either have the um, inside out or the outside out. I'm sorry, inside out. Mm-hmm. So either the reverse stockinette side will be out or the regular stockinette side will be what you... Okay, right? I don't know what the hell you're Just saying. Knit it. Then decide. Follow the pattern. You either... <laughs> 
depending on which way you stuff it, you're either going to have the reverse stockinette side out with the stuffing on the smooth side or the opposite. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So the outside can either be purl or knit. Right. You and get so, to choose. But all you're doing is knitting, knitting, knitting. So nice social knitting project. Perfect for the pajama party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All and right. It's, um, and martini night. Of your sweater that you are wearing today. Kind of is, isn't They're it? Kind mm -hmm. of. Colors yeah. too. So actually. these are some nice options. Ooh, I like that one. If you wanted to do the same combination of yarns, mm -hmm. um, and this is really pretty too. I like it. Just want to see. It. Again, sky's the limit. I mean, what, choosing yarn is the hardest part for these things. I'm just having a worse time to choose just what I'm doing. Okay, so one magazine of the Rowan that we have um, mm, a couple copies had of. has some really great patterns in there. Four pillows. They're very graphic. Mm -hmm. I, in a good way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so look at those. Aren't they fun? I, I absolutely love, those. love these. Here, you can okay. hold that. And we thought some of the best yarns for those worsted. was, um, yeah, it's worsted weight, but the the Germantown, uh, mm -hmm. Calborn Germantown, we love these colors, and we think these would be perfect for those pillows. Nice. So they need yeah. one with like a little doggy nose. and They have um, one, Martin Story, or one of the Rowan designers, I think has a cute one with paw prints. They like Intarsia. So um, right. there's a cute one with like paw prints all over. You could do that one. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think I'm going to do some kind of intarsia pillow. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is yet. Um, and Lopi, I'm, you know. Sorry, moving on. I'm going to pop this in. Lopi, we've got a book and we could share this pattern with you if you'd like. Um, nice option for a pillow. Color mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Lopi would be. That'd yeah, be a fun that'd pillow. be really cute. Really nice pillow. So good options. Sorry, don't. Okay. Boop, <laughs> boop. Yeah. Okay. So, lots of Three great ideas. I know. We Three probably weeks, could. Get, it's a nice size project, so you yeah. could potentially. Thanks for sharing this, too. Amy. Yeah, this, that's I, really cool. I have never seen that, and Amy came in with that, and we're like, "Wow, it's really." I cool. know. I mean, yeah, you get that's an mm -hmm. icebreaker for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so vote. Go yeah. and vote. Yep, go and vote. I'm going to send out the email right now. I better do it right now. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Have a great day.